So we're asking between uh, Buhari's next level agenda and articles plans, which you think is more realistic for Nigerians in 2019? Have they, have they come out with the agenda? They have not tell us the agenda. We are watching. Yeah, but they, they recently they ruled out certain things that they want to do. Uh, Barry called this campaign the next, uh, next level. And then Atiku told us a few things too that he wants to do for Nigeria. So, to my own view, the two of them are not qualified to rule this country. One, we have younger ones who are growing up. These people have been in government stealing money. Atiku have been accused of stealing money. Buari have been accused of stealing money. Why are they still there? It is a time for a change. We need a change. We need people who can carry this country forward. They are not the best leaders in this country. People are graduating everywhere. They are working nowhere. They are working. There is no place for them to work. We have intellectuals in this country. We need people from 50 down. Not those old men who have eaten government money. They are still there. A passenger once said Atiku is a wanted man in America. That he was involved in fraud. Now, the list has not been rolled out. We were told uh, Buhari stole money from Petroleum, 2.8 million. What happened? Why is he in government? We, I'm tired of this country. I'm, 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 I'm not happy to be a Nigerian. Since I left school, I've never worked in government. I've on my own. I pay tax. I have companies that used to business, do business. I pay tax. I've never enjoyed anything in government. So these people are not, the two of them are not qualified to be there. They went there, all there by trick. Where would the younger ones work if these old men continue to be in government? If these this old men are not listening to the common man on the street, who, who, they are not listening to, uh, they are, we, we, now they are talking of increment of salary. That is not what we need. What we need is price control. In this country, we need price control. We don't need increment. If you increase house rent today to 30,000, landlord will increase the salary to, from 200 to 500. It could even increase the amount from 1 million to 2 million. That's not what we need. We need price control. In London, for the past 50 years, bread has remained less than a pound. The other day, they tried to, to, to increase it. There was riot in London. They brought it down more. So that's the common man's food. If you're so, if, if the common man's food here, the lowest bread you see in 100, cannot, I cannot even eat, cannot satisfy me. We don't know where we are going. We don't need these two people to rule us. If I have my power to remove them, I'll remove them. They are not supposed to be there, but they are thieves. The younger ones are thieves. people from from 76 up, where are they going to walk? Where are they going to rule? Is it when they die, when they enter the grave? We are not telling ourselves the truth. In, in the last delegation in Portaco, we are where they were using money, $10,000, $5,000. A common man like me and you cannot pay such money to take a ticket. That is where what we are facing in this country. They should enact a law that let everybody take the presidential ticket. Let every Nigerian choose what they want. You don't impose people on us. That's, they are imposing those people on us. Atiku, or what person just said, his name is on the list of the wanted people in America, of people who are corrupt. What is he doing in government? Is there any assurance he's not coming to take more? I, I'm, we, we, only God can come and save us in this country. That's the clear fact. That's all I can say for now.